Let's turn now to the snow and the misery. It's piling up across the Great Lakes region. Six feet of snow already on the ground. Another three feet possible today. And people lucky enough to be able to get out of their homes are facing a very slippery commute this morning. All right, now to that unprecedented November snow crippling the Buffalo region. This morning, the death toll is rising, and there are new worries over what is going to happen when all that snow starts to melt. But first, something not to be thankful for, this bad weather. It has already caused major disruptions for millions of holiday travelers here in the east. Heavy rain and snow, storms in the Midwest and the Pacific Northwest as well. Did you catch that? 21 degrees outside, and that is headed down, that temperature. It was 60 in New York City on Sunday, 21 today, getting colder, snow on the way. Wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's I hate this. Yeah, I, know. I really do. Moving to the weather now, parts of Texas dealing with record-breaking snow this morning. And Al's here now. That's a powerful system. And we think we may be seeing it head east now. That's right. We're going to be watching this thing make its way through the Gulf, and then it sets up along the eastern seaboard. A wide area of the east is bracing for a treacherous combination of snow, ice, and rain. And Al, we could be seeing substantial travel problems over the weekend. That's right. And into the beginning of next week, because it's not just one, but it's two storms. But let's get right to our top story, that huge storm making a big mess on the roads for anyone out there driving. And that includes our crew out in New Jersey right now. We'll check it with them in just a moment. And they don't appear to be kidding about <laughs> no, this storm. No. Take a look outside. We've got flurries out on the plaza already. This is really nothing. This is just a tease. No, fast forward 24 hours, and they say this could be one of the worst storms this area has ever seen. Really scary. <laughs> anyway, weather is our top story. Can you believe we're at it again? I say we, Boston, has barely had time to clean up from the last storm. They still have huge piles of snow everywhere. Now they're expecting up to another foot, a potentially paralyzing blizzard when it's all said and done. New month, but not much has changed with the weather across New England. A nasty storm slamming the region, making for a slippery commute today. And NBC's Dylan Dreyer is back at her post in Boston. Dylan, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. Yeah, it's Monday, so it's no surprise. I'm talking about more snow. We saw widespread three to six inches of snow fall this weekend out of this system, and it made an absolute mess of the roadways. There were several multi-car pileups over the weekend, like this one in Rolla, Missouri, where 25 vehicles were involved in this crash. Over in Virginia, icy roads were responsible for more than 100 crashes there, and nearly every state in the country saw snow of some kind this weekend. In Massachusetts, it was a dangerously close call for a youth hockey team when the roof collapsed during practice. No one was injured, but it's a scary reminder of just how much snow is here. So far in Boston, we have picked up 103.9 inches of snow this season. All it'll take is just 3.8 more inches of snow for this to be the all-time snowiest winter ever on record for the city of Boston. And right where I am now, this is actually the traditional route for the famous St. Patrick's Day Parade in Southie. The route of the parade and even the parade itself is actually in jeopardy right now because there is just so much snow that they don't have room for a parade. So, but as long as we're uh, talking about records, Al, when do you think we are going across that threshold of 107.6 inches? Do you think Thursday is today? I think it's Thursday, but I think it's going to be awfully close, Dylan, before it changes over to rain. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dylan. Let's show you where we're looking at this next storm system. It's getting itself together out in the southwest. And so as it pushes east, we've got to picked up by that jet stream and bringing with it the chance of blizzard watches, blizzard warnings, winter storm watches and warnings as we stretch across the coast. Winter storm warnings for Vail, Colorado, one to two feet of snow in the mountains. We move through early Tuesday morning into Tuesday morning for the rush hour Chicago. Travel delays, one to two inches, ice of about a tenth of an inch. As we get into Tuesday afternoon, it spreads into Cleveland. Tuesday night, we're New York City, New York, Boston, Massachusetts, one to two inches of snow, changing over from snow to sleet. Again, it's going to be awfully close, but then we've got an icy mix from Syracuse to Boston early Wednesday morning. It's going to be a mess. Snowfall totals generally out to the Rockies, one to two feet, about three to six inches north of New York City and Boston, one to two inches generally there, but then another storm system coming in on Thursday, and we're going to get a whiplash Wednesday. Uh, places like Atlanta, near 70 degrees on Wednesday, 30 degrees on wow. Thursday. Oh, my God. Note to self, go to Atlanta. <laughs> Wednesday only.
The storm, of course, our top story this morning. And if this is, in fact, winner's final big one, not going down without a fight. Tens of millions are being impacted today. States of emergency declared. And our weather team has it covered. Let's start with Dylan Dreyer in Boston. Dylan, good morning. Good morning, Savannah. The snow has returned here in Boston, but yesterday we hit 40 degrees for the first time in 44 days. But in other parts of the country, it was anything but spring-like. From Texas, where Dallas hit their record daily snowfall yesterday with just under four inches of snow, it stretched all the way up into New England. And we do have states of emergency in Alabama, in Mississippi, also up into West Virginia and New Jersey, where the snow is very heavy. It went from rain to ice to snow. So that's what making the roads extremely dangerous. Now, it is going to slowly spread east through the day today, making a mess of the Washington, D.C. area where uh, uh, public offices are closed today and Congress is closed today because of the snow they are expecting. So it is uh, certainly, hopefully, the last final blow because next week it looks like we are going to get into a pattern change and start to see some warmer temperatures. But, Al, especially back through the Midwest and then into the Northeast, we could be talking about another chance to break some record low temperatures before that warm-up happens. Absolutely, Dylan. Thanks so much. Uh, again, two inches. They just need two inches to break that record. Now, again, the Midwest has been hit very hard by this. Take a look at this video. I, why you should not be driving fast along the... I mean, this, is, this guy comes off the interstate near St. Louis just so fast and boy what a mess I mean major damage luckily nobody was injured really in this crash let's show you what else is going on this is the latest with the blue line that's the area of 32 degrees this is our top of the rock camera you can't see anything I-95 Philadelphia more heavy snow coming down we've got winter storm warnings advisories and freezing rain advisories stretching from Texas all the way into New England this morning so at 8 a.m. Jackson Mississippi winter weather advisories ice amounts of a quarter of an inch, sleet a half inch. Then as we move into the afternoon hours, late morning, the snow really starts getting heavy in Washington, Philly, New York City. Snow falling at one to two inches per hour, likely four to seven inches. It continues into the afternoon hours with winter storm uh, warnings. Look at the snowfall amounts, generally about anywhere from three to six inches, but from Long Island into New Jersey, about six to nine inches. And this is going to be a big problem later this morning into the afternoon hours, up to a half an inch of ice down through the southeast. That's where we can see power lines going down, roads a mess. 2,500 flights have been canceled already. Those numbers will go up. But as Dylan mentioned, we do see a light at the end of the tunnel. Good news, it's not a train. <laughs> Coming in the wrong direction. Yeah, thank you.